What's up guys, Elphus here. Today we're checking out um, Heroes of the Storm again. We're, ch we're, we're playing some Heroes of the Storm for one particular reason, is that they just did an enormous patch slash update slash whatever you want to call it, um, where they changed a lot of stuff. They, uh, not so much gameplay things that they changed, but they changed a lot of stuff. They added a few new things, including the person that I'm playing. This is a new hero, Regar. He's a pseudo GPS support kind of mostly support but he does do a little bit of damage he's kind of a melee support he heals he's in the fights he's up there as well as this new map if anybody's looking around who plays heart uh here's the storm and you're like the fuck is this Alphys? it's uh, it's a new map they added in a new map this is my first time playing it i don't um i don't know exactly how much is that 70 to 45 uh maybe i'll go with that then it doesn't reduce cooldown though no, yeah i'll go with that that's fine Ooh, let's do this. Oh, this is not good. Uh, okay, so they have a Regar as well. They didn't kill anybody, so that's fine, though. Who, who, you know. If they didn't kill anybody, it's all good. So, um, so this is the new map. I've never played here. I read the description as to what the map does, like, what the idea of the map is. But I haven't played it yet. I'm still kind of figuring it out. So we're rocking Zagara and, uh, and, um, uh, Kerrigan down here. Jeez, the swarm is, uh, is teaming up tonight, huh? Um, ooh. I want to take the impact damage from that if I don't have to. Um, yeah, so, interesting. So, it looks like, are there more camps? No, two, two, and then it looks like an interesting third camp. Two easy camps? Yeah, so two easy camps on each side. Okay, maybe they're both giants, maybe they're different, I'm not sure. So, night, so the idea behind this game mode, I'll talk about the hero in a second, but the idea behind this game mode is that night falls um, every... At 90 seconds, I don't, I don't know if it's every 90 seconds or at 90 seconds. The description just said at 90 seconds night will fall, which it is about to at a minute 30, which is what's going to happen. 90 seconds, a minute 30, night is going to fall, and then in the middle of the map, these abominations, whatever you want to call them, spawn, I guess, and you kill them and collect seeds. Uh, and by killing them and collecting seeds, oh, I didn't want to take that stun. That was actually really bad. Our team isn't here, so it's kind of hurting us. They're full health, and we're not. We can't really fight this. Um, but, so, he's dead. I don't know what he's doing. Um, so, at night falls, and these monsters spawn in the middle, and you collect seeds from the monsters, and I guess when you get to 100 seeds, um, you get, like, a monstrous whatever. Uh, does that mean you spawn something? I'm not sure exactly how it works. Is it like a, you spawn a creep or something? Or I, I don't know exactly how it works. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Uh, so this is my first time playing it. I don't really know. I'll, I, like, full disclosure, I just don't know. So I'm figuring it out. I am. Um, but I'm also interested. So these look like mini grave golems, so to speak. Uh, and I guess you kill them and they probably give a bunch of seeds, would be my guess. Yeah, they're essentially grave golems. They look weaker, though. These are seeds, so you collect them, I guess. Do I have to return them or no? Do I just get them? Um, I might have to return them. They changed this around too, so we'll talk about that. We'll talk about a lot of the changes here. I just want to get into the game mode a little bit. Uh, obviously, that's way better. So, we collect these seeds, uh, and I guess we spawn a monster once we get to 100 or so. I'm not sure. How do we count? How do we count? Oh, this is that shows us the counter, how many we're at. So, we're about tied, actually. Both teams are about at 100. Well, they just got a bonus, like 20, I guess, from capturing that top thing. Um, okay, so... So, let's talk about the hero now. So, Regar, he's a melee support. Uh, he does so-so mm, damage. His W is, is primarily damage, although you can get a talent, which I probably will, that makes it a bit supporty as well, because I like to play him more as a support rather than damage, although you can play uh, as kind of a damage -y hero as well. They've, they've given you talents to build that way, if that's the way you desire. Um, and... I don't know. I like him so far. His wolf, which I haven't actually been using because I totally forgot about it. Sorry, this is my only second. This is only my second game playing him, so give me a break. I think his wolf was kind of OP. That's my honest opinion. I've played him uh, once right now. The wolf seems really OP. A three-second cooldown. You get the movement speed is the problem with it. If you don't get, if you didn't get a movement speed uh, buff as well, if it was just the damage buff, which you get, you get like a little damage buff on your first attack that breaks wolf form too. So like, watch. I'll go wolf form. I hit this guy. Oh, I guess I had already hit him or something. Um, and and it broke my thing. But it, it's no channel. So it's a mount essentially, but it's no channel. I think 30%. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think 30% is less than a normal mount though. Does a normal mount give you like 45% or something like that? Because otherwise it seems like a bit OP to me. Maybe maybe that's the case. If it gives you, um, if that's the case and it gives you, uh, and it gives you less, then that's that's something. So this is the one I like to get instead of battle momentum. Um, but that's something to consider because that is uh, 
so that's a thing. That's a thing you need to pay attention to if it's less medium speed. But I still think it's a touch OP. That's my honest opinion. I've played him once. He seem, it seems kind of OP. Uh, you have no channel time. You just get to jump into it, period. That's your, your thing. You jump right into it. Uh, so I'm going to throw that. Sergeant Hammer. Sergeant Hammer. Turn around. Sergeant Hammer. Going to wolf form again. There we go. So uh, See, I can use it in combat like that. There's no... From my understanding, there's no there's no real downside to it. It's kind of like a very, very, very strong uh, mount, really, in my opinion. That's that's an opinion. You guys are more than welcome. I can heal creeps, too. I was curious. Sometimes you can't heal creeps, so, like, Lily's little brew doesn't heal creeps. It'll only go to uh, allies, stuff like that. I wonder... I'm guessing I can shield a creep, too. Yeah, I can, I can throw the little shield on them as well. So, I'm just learning the hero, trying to figure out all the little ins and outs. Let's talk about a couple of things they changed and added. Uh, they added artifacts. I haven't gotten to use it. Artifacts are essentially like runes, kind of, from League of Legends, but you, you only get a couple of them. They give you fairly significant bonuses if you level them up all the way to 10. If you have three level 10 ar artifacts, I don't know the exact c cost ranges yet. Uh, they um, the level... Uh, oh, I did unlock this? Huh. For 2,000? That's insane. That's a way lower cooldown, too. I like that. It is a short delay, though, so... Um, let's throw it on him. Let's see how it works here. Uh, it's not a very long delay. That's a very short delay. Wow, and you get an insane 2,000 health heal, which is essentially full health at these levels. Uh, as you grow up, as you get higher and higher, tanks won't be that high. Uh, we'll, we'll, or sorry, tanks will be much, much higher. Tanks get up to, you know, 6k health. You can even get a little higher than that, depending on the tank, things like that. Um, so, yeah. So they added artifacts. I haven't been able to use them. They're very buggy at the moment. I can't even buy them. Um, but, I mean, it's understandable. It's an alpha build. What do you expect, right? Um, but I haven't even gotten to try them yet, so uh, I don't know my exact opinion on them. But they're essentially runes is what they are. Uh, I mean, that's it's a rune. It, it is what it is, but it, it's a rune. So um, that's good. I think it's a nice little addition. They sort of kind of, I feel kind of, I don't want to say upset, but they sort of kind of copied League of Legends, to be honest with you. In this game, I really like the innovation in this game. I really like the... Uh, the new, the, the the fact that it's it's not the same as every other MOBA. I like the difference. I like that it's different. I like that uh, that that's the thing. I like that it's not just a copy MOBA. Um, so the fact that they did that kind of annoys me, but I understand it too. You can't you can't always be a hundred percent original on every single thing you do. Um, it's tough. It's tough to be original, and and it is. It is. It's hard, and I, I get it. It's it's understandable. Um, so, with that being said, though, I like it. I like any addition of new content to any game I'm down for. I am immediately on board. I love new content. I love additions. I love all kinds of things. So, I guess we're getting monsters. I guess somebody has to go turn in, maybe? Or no, it just spawns. I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. It, it seems kind of like the Haunted Mines, but maybe slight difference. Is that what it is? Like, it's it's similar to the Haunted Mines, but slight differences? So, like, it took away 100, and it spawned ours in mid, and I guess it took away 100 from them and spawned theirs. Um, I, I'm just trying to figure it out, guys. I, this is my very first time in the game mode. I, I'm not sure. Can I throw this on him? No, you... It Typically, it doesn't let you power up these golems, these big bosses, because it would be a bit OP. I don't want to get caught in that. I don't know what it is. It looks like a root, though. Uh, so I don't really want to be in it, whatever it is. Um, oh, so it's a hero. That's a hero. So it is... It's like the Dragon Knight mixed with Grey Golems, kind of, essentially, is my understanding. I didn't realize that. So I guess a hero can go back and use this or something. Yeah. If once we get 100 seeds, they can go back and use it, and it will spawn, um, it will spawn the creeps. Or it will turn you into a dragon knight, so to speak. Kind of. Uh, I guess is a way you could think about it. Let's throw that on him. Get a nice little heal going on. Throw that down. I'm gonna heal myself up a bit just because I'm a little low. Um, yeah, my healing chains. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Uh, so, interesting. I'm kind of figuring it out. Sorry, guys. I, maybe I should have played a game before I did a video, but oh well. I like first impression videos, to be honest with you, so I like doing them. Um, let's see. Another thing I wanted to talk about. As you've noticed with my talents, they changed it around. I no longer have access to all the talents. Uh, as apparently, as it turns out, you have to level up your hero. Individual hero by playing the games. You level up your hero. You don't level up... I mean, you still level up your account. Uh, but you level up your hero, and to unlock the talents on each hero, you have to level the hero individually. I kind of dislike it, but I guess in the same sense, I'm fine with them adding it in because I like new achievements. I like new things to aim for. I like when I get a new hero, I can aim for this. I like that. That's a cool little thing. 
that you, you couldn't do before, to be honest with you. you. You had all the abilities, you had them all. I think it was kind of lame uh, that you had them all. She's getting pretty annoying poking in and out on the side here, so I'm just going to piss her off a little bit. Tell her to get out of here. Uh, make her get out of here, rather. Um, yep. Get out of here, girl. Seriously. Um, yeah, then I'll throw some more heals around, typical things. I do have ultimate up, but I don't, nobody really needs it at the moment, so I'm not just gonna blow it just to blow it, because it is a 60 second cooldown, which means it won't be up in the next fight if I need it. Um, honestly, I think the other ultimate is better, in my opinion, and it does scale, all the abilities scale, so it's over 2,000, so. I wonder at level 20, like, like, around max level-ish, uh, 20 isn't max level, but I think 25 is max level. Um, I've never actually had a game get there though, so I'm not I'm not really sure. But uh, I wonder if uh, I wonder what the actual amount is at max level. What is it like three, four grand? Probably four grand somewhere around there. That uh, would be my guess. And then you can probably get the level 20 attribute to bump it up to maybe more than that, or maybe it, you can heal multiple or hold multiple charges, things like that. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah. So I don't. I really like new ability, new achievements, things like that. But in the same sense, I also am kind of annoyed that I don't. And I no longer have access to all my talents. Um, but I do like the achievement, so I'm glad they added that in. I'm, I'm totally fine with that, uh, to be honest with you. They added in, they changed a few things. Now you draw a line when you do this. Um, I don't think that really matters, but it's fine. It's a fine little thing. Add it, why not? Who cares? Um, I, I guess before, maybe people were complaining they had problems seeing where they were, which one they were mousing over. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand that argument, to be honest with you. So I'm not really sure. I'm going to walk over and help her because. Uh, Brightwing does zero damage, essentially. Uh, I do want to say in vicinity to help him out, though. Brightwing's great healer does zero damage, basically. I'll be honest with you. Uh, his damage is, is so minuscule, it's ridiculous. It's essentially zero. Um, I'm fine with this. I have no problem with that. Let's throw that around. Uh, this is turning bad very quickly, because they have a lot of people. You need to get out of there. Okay, well. Uh, we do have Sergeant Hammer coming to back us up a bit. Um... Uh, you know, I don't think that's necessarily going to be enough. We need Arthas here too, and even then, um, it's it's not good. He's in a bad position. That was that was bad. He shouldn't have walked up like that. Um, I will say my single target heal, although it has a relatively long cooldown, it's very strong, uh, very strong. I I, I love it. Uh, it's one of my favorite heals in the game. Actually, you heal an insane amount of HP. Uh, you know, I, I haven't got him up insanely high level yet. Again, I haven't really had a game that goes past, like, on this hero yet. The game I played before, I got up to, like, 18, I think. Um, but, uh, oop, sorry, bro. Can't let you go. But, um, which, which is, you know, whatever. I'm gonna come back and deal with these guys, uh, just because nobody did, and it looks like, yeah, they are buffed. Um, let's see, uh, I like the root. I think the root is really strong, to be honest with you. Buff that up. Alright, cool. So, I like the hero. I think his single target he ability, his single target heal is very, very strong. I really like that. Um, I'm not usually a support player, but I actually do like supporting in this game. It's actually enjoyable. You don't have to sacrifice yourself for the team. You're helping the team by being alive and sticking around and fighting as opposed to the typical thing. I'm actually just going to go back and cap this. Oh, never mind. Sorry. The Demon Hunter was already there, so I'm not going to do that. Um, they're also going to have theirs in a minute, although we got bot lane pushing somewhat strong. They got the little healer still, although the rest of the night camp is on. Just finished collecting up these seeds. Um, I'm curious. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. Okay, cool. I like the new changes to the scoreboard. Now it shows you... Uh, uh, wait, no. The experience contribution was here before, I think. Or was this the uh, column that showed you, uh, like game contribution to the objectives. I think it was the contribution to the objectives before. I like that this is now that. If it was that before, then I apologize. And Oh, I need to get out of here. Let's throw that down, and then I'm... Ooh, ooh, throw the heal on me. And I'll just run away. So he used Battle Cry, which I'm totally cool with. Uh, <laughs> that's a 120 second cooldown I no longer have to deal with immediately now. Um, you can jump on me on tower if you want, that's fine. I, you know, I have to walk all the way around, it's kind of annoying. Ooh. The thing has a root. My little uh, E has a root now, which I really like. That's fantastic. Um, oh, we got another seed over here that somebody didn't cap. Oops, I accidentally just left my wolf mode instead of going in it. My B. Um, cool. So this is... I really like this new game mode. It's essentially not that different, to be honest with you. It's basically a combination of Haunted Minds and um, Dragon Knight, which is totally fine. It's not very innovative. It's, again, just kind of combining what they already had. But I'll take it. I'm um, all for good new content. That's totally fine. I love it. 
I'm all for that kind of stuff. So um, if they want to do that, add that kind of thing in, I'm more than happy to uh, enjoy that. It looks like creep camps, much like in the Dragon Knight, the mercenary camps don't spawn when you have a when you have these things active. Uh, so that's fine. I should be up here helping. Um, that's okay though. That's okay. It's okay. It's cool. It's cool. Um, throw this on. Kill this guy off pretty quickly. Just throw that on her. She'll get a nice little heal back to full here. Um, you know, between, I'll tell you in this game, um, having two healers on your team, although it does sacrifice quite a bit of damage, uh, you're, I mean, if you get the right healers who are good and know what they're doing, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, you can essentially just have mass heals all over the map. Uh, if right wing got the teleport to an ally and heal ultimate, then that's going to be pretty crazy to have. I mean, alongside of my heals and all kinds of stuff, it, it can be an insane amount of heals in this game very very quickly an insane amount of heals so um oh let's throw this sh no i didn't even need to shield him never mind not gonna um yeah let's throw shield on him instead because why not uh throw wolf form just to get a little bonus damage on my attack i really like the hero he's maybe not my favorite um but i still like him so um i'm probably gonna keep playing him gonna keep checking him out gonna uh, i can't heal you bro i can't heal you bro you're dead um my heal was on cooldown there's nothing i could do but it doesn't matter because we win right here anyways um, throw the heal, whatever, a little totem, doesn't really make a difference, because we win. So, uh, GG, well played. So thank you guys for checking it out, I'll show you guys a quick little overview of the stuff they changed, just, just a, a brief little thing, if you don't want to check it out, feel free to leave, that's fine. Um, I like the changes they made, I think some of them were unnecessary, some of them were kind of a waste of time, but you know what, any new content, any new skins, anything, or even just reskinning things that already existed, this seems to be kind of bugging out, their servers seem to be having a lot of problems today. Uh, it takes like forever to load these things. You can't really purchase anything. Oh, actually, it did load that relatively quickly that time. So this is what I'm talking about with your hero level. You gain hero level now, and you get your certain talents based on uh, getting certain levels. I think you need hero level three or four, maybe four, to get your all the talents, the expert talents, as they call them. But um, yeah, and the quests they changed as well. I think you no longer get experience from quests. You just get um, you just get gold, which I think is kind of lame to be honest with you. But um, that's understandable. I guess they did bump up the experience gain from winning from 20,000 to 50,000, so that's fine. Uh, thank you. Leave that. Let's check this out. So they reskinned this, essentially just changed it around. They redid the hero uh, hero reward things from leveling up, like I was talking about. Um, so I think that's nice. You know, you get your expert talents, gold, you know, hero portrait, mount variation, whatever. You get your skins. Uh, so did I lose my skin variation on Nova then? I guess I would have, right? Like, they must have taken it away because it looks like I don't get it until level 7 or 8 now. Okay, and then a master skin at level 10. Cool. Uh, they redid daily quests, so it looks like you just get gold and a small amount of gold, too. I think, like, this would normally be a 500 gold quest instead of 200, so I think they've reduced this amount of gold. Well, I, I disagree. I think it's kind of lame, but it is what it is. Um, they, they're trying to probably encourage people to buy more items with money. I understand. It's a business, so you got to make money. Um, it is what it is. Although they did give everybody a lot of gold, depending on what level your hero was. If you were in the 20 to 29 range, you got 35,000. If you were 30 plus, you got 75,000 gold. So, like, if you look at my... Uh, you know, that's just your rewards. If you look at my uh, stash of gold now, 33,000. I had 40 grand, but I bought Rigar, who was 7 grand. So uh, I like that. The bonus gold is fine. The bonus gold is meant to check out the artifact system, which I'll give you just a quick sneak peek of right here because it's not working. Uh, so you go down here. You can unlock these. You purchase additional slots. And they're essentially runes. You buy the runes. Uh, for example, I want to buy this one or this one for this hero. Uh, but, you know, for example, I click this and it just like bugs out and freezes up so it is what it is um that's fine these are assuming going to be different portraits different little symbol looks depending on the rune but obviously it's alpha they're not worried about that right now i totally agree worry on game content and bugs and things like that as opposed to little artwork don't worry about that right now so those are the changes they made guys um just a quick check i am curious if i did lose the hero tint uh probably right or my uh skin tint yeah i did i lost the no, is that that's a mount tint. Sorry. So, yes, I did lose the hero tint. They took it away. I used to have this, but they uh, took it away because they redid it. All right, that's fine. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can expect more Heroes of, the, uh, Heroes of Storm. Uh, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I think it's a very fun game, a cute little uh, thing. I think it's much less competitive, and I think it's kind of fun to jump in and just not worry about winning or losing, things like that. 
Uh, granted, when they start adding in stats and things like that, which I'm assuming they're going to with profile summary, match history, that kind of stuff, I'm probably going to be wanting to win. But, um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is Heroes of the Storm, their new content, the new map. you got to look at the new hero, a couple of the new things. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you got requests, you want me to play a specific hero, feel free to shoot that at me. i got 30,000 gold, so maybe I'll... Uh, you know, if you guys want a specific hero, maybe I'll buy him. I considered buying Murky just because of how annoying he's to play against. Maybe he'd be fun to annoy other play people as playing. Uh, but that's, that's you know, my personal uh, opinion. I don't know. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and, yeah, leave a comment. Keep, you know, stay in chat. Keep, uh, keep in touch with me, guys. Come on. Chat with me. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. GG well played, guys. Elf is out.